All right, this is already the end of this video. Um, and this is what it was all about. Um, it was this little piece of uh, PCB. Um, it was a lot of work and it came out pretty excellent. And we have to think about what it was. It was a very simple project. It was um, a Nanino from Johann von Konoff. Um, this is a single-sided um, Arduino board. It is very simple. It's open. It's a wonderful little project. Now why is this the end of this video? Because actually the whole video was quite an affair and it took a really long time to make. And uh, I wanted to jump ahead to the end and uh, say right at the beginning that this worked out absolutely perfect. There's some small glitches but this is the first PCB that I've used, the new CNC table uh, with the uh, laser on it to make this and although it wasn't perfect it came out just great. Um, I will be going back to the beginning now and uh, the video is going to start <laughs> with the beginning this time um, but it's going to be a long video um, and I just wanted to make sure that uh, all of you know that watching it is well worth it because in the end um, this is going to be the outcome and uh, it didn't look quite as good uh, while I was doing it um, but I love the result and uh, I love this little project. I'm going to put the link to this little PCB board in the description of the video. Um, go ahead, check it out. It's worth it. So, I hope you'll enjoy the video, the beginning of it, and uh, maybe all the way to the end. And, uh, well, here we go. Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, attempting what this machine was all about from the start. Um, I'm going to attempt to uh, develop the photopositive layer on one of these PCBs and um, let's see if this works and if it's possible after it's um, ex after it's been exposed, um, if it's possible to etch it. Uh, I've prepared a, uh, a PCB design that I'm going to uh, uh, copy onto that piece of PCB and uh, it will be uh, this here. This is a Nanino uh, which is a project from uh, Johann von Konoff and um, it actually fits the measurements that I have uh, here pretty well and I've taken his design, I've taken one of his uh, PNG files and I've copied the, uh, the layout from that and I will be putting that on the uh, on the board no idea if it'll work out but I'll have to try sometime. I didn't make any changes to the uh, to the plotter itself. Uh, I used it quite a lot. Um, I've been doing some uh, different experiments with the laser uh, with uh, bright speeds. Um, I've made this uh, this masking, which can actually just which slides over here and. Uh, and the PCB board um, is going to be um, below it so that when the 
y-axis is moving um, there will always only be a very small um, area of the PCB um, that is being subjected to the ambient light because there will be some light left and uh, I suppose even the laser is going to have uh, some leakage. Now that's the idea for now. What I'm going to do is uh, I will fasten this down onto the table. I'll set up the laser uh, accordingly. Um, while I'm doing that I'm going to have to turn off my uh, my studio light because it's um, it's actually emitting quite a lot of uh, ultraviolet and it's uh, very bright so uh, you won't be able to see that and uh, once it's working I'll have to check it out from time to time I suppose that the whole process of exposing the PCB will take about uh, one hour I will be going pretty fast and I won't be using the, the highest power uh, that I have on the laser and let's just see how this turns out. So I'm gonna get set up. And okay, first try, first fail. Um, accidentally I set up the NC file so it was printing from top to bottom. Uh, well yeah, from top to bottom instead from bottom to top. Uh, so I might have uh, already um, messed up a few of the top lines but since they appear to be um, black well um, laser on only um, it doesn't matter that much and uh, I'm going to start over now and give it a second try oh well all right um, it's actually um, exposing now and uh, I've set the uh, resolution of the laser to um, 50 mil, uh, which I suppose is okay. Um, the dot should be uh, big enough for that, and uh, you can actually see that it's that there's actually a change in the paint, um, which is good. Which means that it's uh, that it's taken the exposure well. Um, you can actually see a uh, G-code sender uh, working away here. Uh, that's quite a big file, but I suppose it should be working out well. Um, I went for the option of um, unidirectional printing, so um, I'm only uh, engraving uh, when the uh, plot head is moving from left to right instead of going uh, bi-directional which would be faster but um, it's a lot easier to run into backlash issues when you're doing that so this looks pretty promising right now um, let's wait and see how it turns out and now this is it I'm working away in the dark and you can see pretty nicely how fast it's turning the laser on and off again um, I suppose that's not a lot you can see um, but it's really working away nicely okay now well it's been a while I probably should have uh, done the math about how long this was going to take um, which was about six episodes of Big Bang Theory and then some um, but the result looks really promising um, like I've seen before the laser takes quite some time to get warm um, I hope that this will still work out but uh, for a start this looks really good um, yeah I'm going to develop this and uh, dump it into the agent. Let's see what happens. Well, all right now. I put the uh, PCB 
into the developer and um, it's actually in the in the etching path now. I'm quite amazed at the amount of power needed to uh, well to expose the the photopositive uh, layer on the PCB. I thought I was already going with a lot of power and uh, I was expecting this to well to expose the PCB completely but it looks like I could have gone with uh, quite a larger amount um, when I was developing it it actually looked like um, there was still some of the photopositive layer um, that hadn't been developed which was surprising in a way so I know that I can go with more power and I should probably go slower and um, that the the ambient radiation from from the leakage from the laser and everything around it actually isn't that much of a problem so the whole PCB looks very good um, all the tracks are very clearly marked and uh, I hope that the etching is going well and I hope that the that the uh, photopositive layer um, came off uh, well enough so that the etching will go um, the way I plan. It might have something to do with the fact that this piece of P <laughs> this piece of PCB is um, I don't know about ten years old. I guess if I had a newer one, it might have. Uh, reacted more strongly uh, to the ultraviolet, ultraviolet radiation but let's see how this comes out for a start it looks very nice and uh, the complete PCB looks very nice and very well defined a lot better than I was thinking it would um, of course there's still a lot of room for improvement uh, regarding the software that is doing the uh, that is doing the plotting and uh, you could rewrite the software and make it a lot more performant uh, but I'll leave that open for now I like it and it looks really good let's see how this etching comes out okay uh, I stopped the uh, circulation pump for a minute. Um, as you can see, the uh, the PCB is clearly showing horizontal lines, and uh, that can only mean that although I was using a line width of fifty mil, um, apparently that is still. Uh, too much. My lines appear to be smaller than that. Um, also you can clearly see that I could have probably used a uh, higher power value on the on the laser. Um, I'm still not going full power on that because I thought it wasn't necessary. Uh, I can improve on that but you can also see that the uh, the separation um, if I eventually get this to etch all the way uh, is pretty good and that the the way it uh, develops is also very nice I mean with a 50 mil line uh, width I've got such a high resolution on the plot that I could go a lot smaller than that. I mean even the the text on the on the PCB is absolutely perfect. So this might not be the best result or not the result that I was hoping for, but it clearly shows the potential 
of the machine and of the way to do this. Um, but noted, uh, this is no longer rapid prototyping. And this is simply just prototyping the way it is, because this took well over two hours to plot. So there's um, a lot of room for improvement on that, if possible. Okay, now I pulled the board from the etching bath and I cleaned it up and I must admit it looks pretty beautiful. It, there's just a little over etching and um, I was expecting that because uh, because of the way that there was uh, there were those lines forming. I had to leave it in the etchant for quite a lot longer than I would have had to in the first place, which usually causes um, a little distortion on the edges. But this still looks absolutely beautiful. And uh, well, even though I wasn't expecting it, this is this is a usable piece. Um, I will try a few other configurations um, with the plotter and etching, but this is um, this is a very nice result. Um, and uh, giving the fact that you can still read most of the very fine print on this board, and uh, there's separation even between the thinnest lines. I suppose I can go a lot smaller than that, and uh, that's what I'm going to try next. Now this is the PCB board all cleaned up and uh, covered with a bit of plastic paint. Um, I must actually say it didn't look as good when I was making it and uh, the way it came out. I thought it might actually uh, be worse than what it looked like, but uh, this is just wonderful. I mean, this is, for lack of a better word, for a first try, absolutely perfect. There are a few very small cracks and gaps uh, in some of the um, in some of the lines, but it's. It's better than I thought. I mean, I thought I would have been off um, by a lot more than that. If you take a look at the at the small writing here, it's absolutely perfect. You you can you can read it. I mean, you can actually see what's written there. It's still there, and that is a, a lot smaller than I was anticipating my uh, my pixel width to be. Um, you can see that one of the uh, traces here is broken, but that can be fixed. And when I do my next tryout, I'm going to go slower and I'm going to up the power. But apart from that, I don't think there's anything that I need to do. Um, with the exception of uh, getting more experience, maybe. But this is wonderful. Um, the whole project was, was pretty wonderful. I'm really happy how this turned out. Um, yeah, for now, this is it. Um, thank you very much for watching through this um, somewhat longish video. Um, thanks, and bye-bye.